I am Mary Teresa Caprillis. I'm from Mountain View, California, and I teach Qigong and meditation at Morning Crane. I found Qigong a few years ago. I always say it came to me because I didn't really go looking for it. I had only heard about it from my former chiropractor who would go to Qigong class every night. And oh. I discovered Master Chunyi Lin, who developed a form of Qigong called Spring Forest Qigong. And he gave this introduct introductory video with his little sweet Chinese accent and just sharing about healing yes. and Harry, I'll, I'm offering this for healing. So I just decided to go for it. I don't even really know why. And he said, take the 100 day challenge for doing spring forest Qigong every day. Okay. So I just decided to start that day and I wanted the pain to go away. So that from that day on, I started doing spring forest Qigong all summer. And I ended up calling and talking to Parisa and then we set up an appointment and I came in and I thought, oh, I'm going to teach there. Obviously I'm going to go and teach there. And once I came and I met Chris, I just knew that I was, I needed that I wanted him to be my mentor and that I wanted to work with him as well. So that I started te the teacher training with Chris at that time. And then only a couple of months later, I started substituting at Morning Crane. So Qigong is good for everyone. That's one of the things I love about Qigong. It's very simple. It's where simpler than anything that I've ever experienced. And what I also love about it is it's very meditative. So it gives you the opportunity to really feel into your body, to notice what's going on. You can do it standing, sitting, or lying down. So anyone in any condition can participate, whether and you're... And I feel the benefits are not just physical, but also emotional and mental if you have thoughts that are going all over the place and i feel like especially in silicon valley everyone's just always it's like there's a contest on who can be the busiest and qigong is sort of a remedy for that i see it as a way to disconnect from the treadmill of life and be silent and go inside of yourself and connect with that inner peace so anyone can benefit from it it's just a matter of doing it and i feel consistency is very important with qigong even if